Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Path of Titans video. Today is a small video. I'm just overviewing the brand new updates to the Jangwa map. This is a different style of video that I'm going for for today. It's going to be more a cinematic look over of the map is. You guys just sit back, relax and have a look at everything from this map. This is a new map. Well, in a sense, it's a new map. Jangwa is an old map, but it's been completely rebuilt. At the intro of the video, you saw the new map for the map, which I have up on the screen now as well but yeah this is entirely new let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below what i'll do is interject with some voiceover every now and then to talk about some of the other stuff that i wanted to showcase um but yeah i want to just focus on the map give it a focus with some music in the background so you guys can just sit back relax and enjoy it uh but yeah this is a new map uh, update complete rework to compete with uh, gondwar in a sense which is pretty neat Anyways, guys, if you are new, feel free to subscribe. And if you want new stuff like this, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's crank up the music and let's explore Yangwa. Easily one of the best parts on the map is this area. This is where all the big bone overhangs are and where the big dinosaur schools are. I wonder what the dinosaurs were. Maybe some dino gods. But there is one thing that I want to point out. There is a lot of caves on this map as well. So there is a lot to explore. A lot of cool things. This big skeleton is kind of the rival to Stegosaurus Rock in a sense, which I think is pretty cool. Another thing I want to point out on the Yangwa map or the Jangwa map, there's a lot of volcanic objects. There's actually a big volcano on the map as well, which is its own separate island. But there's two or three separate like volcanic fishes there as well, which was just shown earlier. And the oceans are full of life as well. Very big coral reefs. It's mainly coral reefs with some rocky outcrops. And that pretty much sums up what the ocean is. And there's a lot of underwater caves as well. The quests in the sense for Jangwa are the same as they were previously. Nothing there has changed too much, but I think there is some slight deviations and some new stuff in that sense. But it has carried a lot of that old objects forward of to the new map. The new Jangra map also has incorporated waystones and home caves to it, all in different locations, which covers pretty much every part of the map, roughly, which is always really nice as well.
Closing thoughts on the new Jangwa update. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And if you want something to make space for the new Gondwa map, this is definitely a map that you should check out. It's pretty much perfect in a sense for pretty much everything. Albeit, of course, it's a desert map. So you're not going to see vast forests. You're not going to see winding rivers and stuff like that. However, there are a lot of different islands. And that's one thing that I think Jangwa does better than Gondwa. Gondwa has a big lack of other smaller islands from the main continent. Whereas Jangwa, this new version, has a lot better and a lot more islands at that sense. I also will say that this new Jangwa map is a really good rework of the old Jangwa map. The whole layout is different. It's a lot bigger. It's a lot nicer. And yet it still has that same feel. I definitely recommend the Jangwa map to a lot of people who enjoyed the old Jangwa map. This definitely is a nice refresh. And I think it looks absolutely awesome. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.